<clears throat> M3, division with rational exponents. So we're still dealing with exponents that are fractions. Now in N2, when we were multiplying, and we had the same base, what did we do? We added our exponents, okay? So in N2, when we were multiplying and we had the same base, we added our exponents. Well, what's the opposite of multiplying? Dividing, same base. So if dividing is the opposite of multiplying, what's the opposite of adding? We're gonna subtract. Now when we're subtracting, it does matter which one we do. We're gonna subtract top minus bottom for the most part. We have u over u, which means that we are dividing and both of these are exponents. So what we can do, we can move this one half up. And remember whenever we move, because one over two is positive right now, the way that it became positive is because it was negative when it was on top. So really we're doing u to the five over two minus one over two. Since we have a common denominator, five minus one is four over two and four over two is the same thing as two. Okay. Now, see I knew I shouldn't have said top minus bottom because I was thinking of other stuff at the time. So forget about the top minus bottom, but we are going to subtract. So both of these are Z's and we have one over three and four over three. Well, which one is bigger? The four over three, right? So if you know which fraction is bigger, then go ahead and <clears throat> um, move the smaller one to the bigger one, okay? Go ahead and move the smaller one to the bigger one. And so we're gonna move this one over three. Right now, the one over three is positive. So if we're moving it, we're gonna make it opposite. So the opposite of positive is negative. But where did I move it to? I moved it to the bottom. If you are working on the bottom, you must have a top. And since we moved everything from the top to the bottom, we need to have a one on top. So Z to the four over three, minus one over three. Four over three minus one over three is three over three. And three over three is one. So that'd be one over Z. So there we go on that. Now let me work that a little bit differently. I'm gonna erase this so I can have more room. Okay. What I'm gonna do is work this problem again. I am working this over here. So I'm gonna rewrite it. Let's say I didn't know four over three was bigger than one over three. So we would move the four over three up. And since four over three was positive, when I move it up, I'm gonna make it negative. So I'm gonna put a minus sign in front of it. So now it would add the three as a common denominator. So one minus four is negative three over three. And what is negative three over three? Negative one. Now we have to have all exponents being positive. It's really not what that was saying. But all exponents being positive, so I need this to be positive. If I need this to be positive, I need this to move down. So we'd have z to the one. If you wanted to put one, we wouldn't have to put one. But we do have to have that one on top. When there's common denominator, it's always, it's easier to see which one is bigger and which one is smaller. 
So if I have five over two or three over two, five over two is bigger. So I'm gonna move the three over two. I'm gonna move it up, so I'm gonna make it negative. And so I'd have S to the five over two minus three over two, which would be two over two. And two over two is one. Since one is positive, we're gonna leave it. So it'd be either S to the one or just S. This fraction line is the same as this dividing line. So we're gonna subtract one over four from nine over four, which is eight over four, and eight over four is two. Which one's bigger? The five over six. So we're gonna do S to the five over six minus one over six, S to the four over six, now four over six is positive, which is a good thing, but four over six does reduce. You must reduce to be able to get the right answer. What goes into four and six? Two, so two over three. Okay. Whenever it's written like this, I'm gonna just not care about positives and what's on top, what's on bottom, what's bigger, what's smaller, okay? So whenever it's written like this with a division sign, let's just do one over three, and we're always gonna subtract the ones on the right, so seven over three. Since I have a common denominator, one minus seven is negative six. What's negative six over three? Negative two. And since the two is negative, we can't leave it negative. So we are going to move the D down to the bottom and make the negative two a positive two. Eight over five minus one over two. So the common denominator would be 10. Why do you multiply five by to get 10, two? So to multiply the top by 10 or two, and two times eight is 16. What do you multiply two by to get 10? Five. So you multiply the top by five and you get five. But make sure that you don't forget that there's a minus sign there. So 16 minus five is 11. Does 11 over 10 reduce? No, so we're good there. Is 11 over 10 positive? Yes, so we're good there. We don't have to move anything and that would be our answer. <laughs> D to the one over two minus five over four. What's the common denominator between two and four? Four. So what do I multiply two by to get four? Two. So I multiply the top by two and two times one is two. We already have a four here, so we're gonna keep the five there. So two minus five is negative three. Now, does three over four reduce? No, three over four does not reduce, but it's negative three over four. We can, are not allowed to keep an exponent negative. So we're gonna put a big fat one there, a D on bottom to the three fourths with that D and that's a three over four right there. All right, now I wish I had a whole nother page to be able to do this a couple of times. I'm gonna to try to write small with you. Okay. On this problem, you could actually do it two, two different ways and get the same answer. You can put the blinders on and do it the same exact way that we have been working all the other problems. And it would be u to the negative three over five because we've been keeping the top and moving the bottom to the top and making it negative, right? And then it would be, you'd get a common denominator, which would be 15. Why do you multiply the five by to get 15? Three, multiply that by three and get negative nine. Why do you multiply the Three by to get 15, five. So if you multiply that by five, you get 20. So negative nine and negative 20 would be negative 29. But then you'd say, okay, 29 over 15 doesn't reduce, that's good, but it's negative. 
So we would keep the 29 over 15, but we'd move it down to the bottom, okay? Or like we did at the very beginning, I said, okay, which one's smaller, which one's bigger, and always move the smaller one. Well, three over five is going to be smaller than four over three because three over five is negative. So if I moved this to the bottom, now watch this. If, if I move it to the bottom, then nothing is left on top. We always have to have a top, so I'm gonna have put a one there. Now I'm not moving the four over three, so the four over three is gonna stay positive. Now listen, listen, listen. If I'm moving the negative three over five, and I'm moving it to the bottom, well, what would have happened if it was just a positive three or five? I would make it negative because if we're switching the top to bottom, bottom to top, then we are changing the exponent sign, right? Well, right now it's a negative three over five. So if I'm moving it down to the bottom, I'm going to make it a positive three over five, okay? And common denominator be 15. And I've already done the work before. So there we go, 29 over 15 does not reduce, but 20 over nine, 29 over 15 is already positive, so I don't have to move it. And I get the same answer. Okay, we're gonna do the parentheses first. Well, luckily, they're so nice, they gave us common denominators. Five over three minus four over three is one over three. So I'm gonna subtract again because of that division. One over three minus two over three is negative one over three. We can't have a negative exponent. So we're gonna put it down to the bottom. We're gonna do this part first. Oops, that's wrong. Divided by this would be u to the 13 over six minus a negative 13 over five. But if I minus a negative, I'm actually going to be adding them. Um, and then, if you can't see this, I am using the calculator, but hopefully it is on your screen. So 13 over five plus 13 over uh, six, I should have put the six first in the five second, but it really doesn't matter. Ooh, that is huge. Okay. So 143 over 30, 143 over 30. So now it's gonna be U to the negative two over five minus 143 over 30. I'm gonna rewrite that because no one can read it unless you're just listening to me negative two over five minus 143 over 30. And if I use the calculator again, we're going to do negative two over five minus 143. The answer that we just got We get negative 31 over 60. That 31 over 60 is negative. So we're gonna bring it down to the bottom. 